Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And uh, there are a couple of things that I wanted to uh, just go into in this lesson. Lord willing to be brief, edifying, straight to the point. And the first one was dealing with a couple of videos that I saw. There was one done a couple of days ago by the other Itazawam, Stay in the Spirit 144, dealing with the heightened um, messaging and alerts from the FBI and, you know, different news sites about about um, basically the U.S. being at, at the highest risk it's ever been uh, for terrorist attacks. OK, amid this whole uh, Israel Hamas situation going on, I also started watching the video that the other Manatsu Zakba had done on it. And all in all, you know, it's it's as we as we've been telling you, whenever any situation erupts, be it geopolitically or internally in America or in some foreign country, in most cases, there's there's always more to it. You know, there's always a step to another step to another step. It's not just the focus is on whatever is happening, but you also have to pay attention to what is this going to lead to? What what precedent is this setting? What narratives can be pushed from whatever is happening here? Okay, it's always like a chess move. When you move one piece here, you, most of the time you're moving a piece in one way to set up room for another strategic move. And that's that's what these elites do on a world scale. So, you know, with with what they got going on, you know, they're even saying that it, it, the, the threat is higher than when it was during 9-11. So we have to watch and see. OK, as the Lord said, watch as well as pray. And that leads into the second point, which was uh, something that 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 uh, the other Atazom had mentioned as well in our group chat, you know, and, and you know, in, in in so many words dealing with the, the superior man. OK, I'll put it like that. And, and that's dealing with those that have the knowledge, wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, because one thing that. We, I'm sure we've all noticed, is the level of stability and calmness that we have. If anything, the if we're not calm, it's because we're excited because of the things that are happening, even in the face of, of adversity, because it's all related to prophecy. And we have, you know, thanks be to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, the understanding. So everything that goes on in the world, we understand what's happening you know, what is this connected to? How does this relate to the scriptures? But it keeps us calm. You know, in actuality, there are people that are losing their minds, that are bugging out completely. And and it goes to show you how strong the mind is, really how powerful wisdom is, because lack of wisdom can really destroy an individual. You know, they start to panic, they start to bug out, they start to act irrationally, and they can end up in, in a far worse situation. And yet... Having wisdom, you know, can 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 actually save one's life, but it keeps you calm and level headed as all these things are going on. I mean, don't be deceived. The things that are happening in the world are fearful things. The signs of famines, they're talking. I did a lesson yesterday about them uh, dealing with this lab grown meats. You know, I mean, the world is a very scary place now. But it doesn't it doesn't really seem that way to us because we have understanding. We got the spirit of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that's that's a, a blessing and a gift. And it makes you, it, it gives you a superior mind. As a matter of fact, let's start off there. And um, let's see. This is, and that's why it's so valuable and so important. Now, this is the book of Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed. Right. Meaning to change forms by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So when 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 you hear this word and you take heed and the Lord starts supping with you, you start to renew your mind. Your, your, your mind changes forms from that inferior way from the foolishness of this world, the things that they consider wise, which are really not. OK, onto a higher level of thinking. That's really where you go. And when you when you deal on a higher level of thinking, 
Your focus is different. The things you worry about are different. Your priorities are different. You think ahead. You think of things that actually matter and you don't stress over, you know, the little nuances here and there. But it's not the case for everybody. Because this knowledge hasn't been given to everybody. And that feeling is going to is gonna heighten and intensify a whole lot more. When violence is in the streets like, like a flood. Okay? When, when you're not hearing uh, crimes being committed with intervals in between. This is just constant happening everywhere. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah, people are going to be afraid. Okay, people are going to be afraid because a lot of people are in a, a very relaxed and stupefied state right now. If you if you if you see some of the posts that are coming out nowadays, it's just, it, it, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, you had a woman, and and that's the thing. These now nowadays these podcasts, which which just open the floodgates for for people all genders and ages and and sizes and to just come on there and just spew complete utter madness embarrass themselves, their nation, their family, all of it, okay? And pretty much on this podcast, you had you had some, some woman on there, you had quite a few women on there, <laughs> um, and she's talking about how she was, um, she was uh, uh, dealing with a man, you know, and he was performing an oral activity on her, and, you know, as she was, she was getting excited, she ended up defecating, you know, excreting some waste. And she didn't want him to see it, so she quickly grabbed it and threw it <laughs> at the window. <laughs> I mean, why is this something you're discussing? Who the hell wants to know that? But this, this is, this is, this is where the mindset of the people are. And mind you, as this is going on, your economy is on the brink of a collapse. For you're you're one one major catastrophe away from from pure food insecurity. And these devils are getting ready to roll. When they, they when they start pushing these narratives, terrorist threats at a high level, and we know how they work, you best believe that they 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 want to do something. And they they they're pushing that out there so it becomes normalized. That whole situation with the rainbow bridge, and then they, oh, was it a was it a T attack? Was it not? It's to push it's to push that mindset into the the heads of the people. Because guess what? According to prophecy. They they will they will declare martial law. They will bring out those troops. The streets will be chaotic, and you you these kinds of things that that people come out and talk about shows you where their mindset is at, and shows you they're completely unprepared. Completely unprepared. They're weak. They're not healthy. They're unfit, mentally and physically, and definitely spiritually. So they I mean they're just at a complete worst case scenario. But they don't see it. They just don't see it. Real quick, let's go to um, our evil. Because we are living in evil days, in evil times. This is Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. And what do we know about the wise man, the, the prudent man? He uh, looketh well into his goings. Foresee if the evil one hides himself. And we hope and pray that the Lord has mercy on us as well as those that are, that are around us, you know, that do right by us. Because even them, they're not going to know what to do. All right. For the days are evil. Okay. And so what does that tell us? That tells us that in these times, you have to be very careful. You can't just be moving around all, all you know, ignorant as if nothing is going on. We're... we're <laughs> If we were to, to, to see the, if, if this, you know, to, to put it in an example form, in a hypothetical example form, if you were to look around and see the calamities, like in forms of different animals or beasts, you'd see that you're surrounded by the most ferocious wild beasts that are getting ready to attack. Okay, that's what's getting ready to happen. Darkness, fearful sights, all these things that are prophesied in the scriptures, they're going to be contained to one period of time in history. So it's going to be very intense. And that's why the Lord called it the beginning of sorrows. But yet, hey, you know, you got people that still want to live, you know, in the life of folly. And, and you will pay for that. You will pay very dearly for that. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 15, verse 1. 
Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And that's what we're doing. But people get tired of that. You know, and right now people are comfortable. And that's why there's so much ridiculous madness going on, <clears throat> going on both in the community of Israelites and those that don't know that they're Israelites. But that's because the Lord is getting ready to bring that judgment. He needs to remind the world why he is to be feared. You think the Lord gained the, the title of, of, of a, a destructive, terrible power for no reason? The almighty God for no reason? Well, the world is going to find out. <laughs> anyway, uh, which I will put in thy mouth, say if the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So we don't even have to worry. The Lord is going to take care of you. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. This is what the Lord said he's going to bring. And he's going to do it through, through the means that we see today. One thing leading to another, leading to another, leading to another. Why is the Lord going to do this? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. There was another post, a very disturbing one, where you had a, 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 a naked individual standing on a chair in the middle of, I guess, a gas station or whatnot, twerking. A man. And and when you actually, uh, and he was being recorded, and when you read the caption, it says that he was a, a gang member and his, the rival gang caught him at a gas station. And they basically forced him to do that. What type of shit? What, what, what kind of world is this? And that's why the Lord is going to shut it all down when he brings those, the sword, the famine, the death, and the destruction. You know, because there's, there's no fear, no, no, there's just there's nothing, man. There's just, everything is just at a, at a complete all-time low. And that's why the Lord said, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth everywhere. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Meaning your time is up. There's a limit. There's a limit and the world has reached that during this age, this time period. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. So the Lord is going to give that go ahead, that green light. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And so, ultimately, as like I said, or as, as we read in uh, Ephesians 5, being circumspect, there are certain areas, if you don't need to be, don't be there. Because if, it, it, if it's a potential area for them to, to do something, they might just do it. And you don't want to get caught up out there. Now is not the time for fun, you know? A boring, a boring life that's safe is better than a fun life that's, that leads to death. Because a lot of these things are not even fun anyway. It's temporary. You go and you do that again. You can make one decision. Oh, I want to go downtown today. I want to go see the, the this and that and do this. You don't have to. You could be spending your time doing something more important. But that one decision, you go there and that day, as you're there, is when they decide to do something. They shut down all the bridges, all the tunnels. Now you're stuck over there. And if they take down any uh, radio towers or, you know, electrical signals and you don't get a signal and you're stuck over there. Then you go and, and, and the regret is going to be a lot because you're going to be thinking. I didn't have to be here. I came here just just, I don't know, to buy something, go to the shop, go see the Christmas tree, go see the ball drop. I could have done that from the comfort of my home. If this shit had happened and I was at home, it wouldn't be as bad. But now I'm trapped, I'm trapped here downtown with all these people and it's just chaos. So you got to be wise. You got to be wise. But anyway, I'm going to end it off here. Lord willing, that was edifying to the elect. As the scriptures say, you know, pray, pray, pray. Pray for safety. Pray for fewer days. You know, and ultimately, man, just pray for the mercy of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai. So with that, Lord willing, you ratified. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.